Hey everyone, it is Mike and Lisa here showing you another property tour. This one is truly, truly spectacular. Stay till the end, you're gonna see some really cool stuff. So I have to show you a house with two pools, a lava rock water slide. We're on over two acres, four car garage, over 13,000 square feet under roof, over 5,000 square feet of living area, five bedrooms, five bathrooms, two half bathrooms, 3,000 square feet of lanai. Um, decadent views, incredibly decorated, handcrafted everything inside, turnkey furnished with the exception of two or three little items here or there, a fitness area, uh, a motor court, a porte cochet with an incredible detail to the ceiling, uh, a bar, dual sinks, dual refrigerators, dual dishwashers. I mean, this thing has it all truly spectacular in a very private gated area. Um, I'm looking forward to showing this to you. This is brought to you by Mike and Lisa Jutar. I'm principal broker at Next Home Paradise Realty. Lisa is an agent. The listing is brought to us by John McComsley over at Corcoran Pacific. A huge thank you to him for letting us bring this to you. We've worked with him a few times before. He's an awesome realtor. Uh, let's get to it. You guys are going to love this one. There's a lot to see. I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we're going to start at the beginning. Of course, we're here at the entry now. We're on over two acres. We've got a gated driveway uh, with lots of, I mean, a lot of space here. We've got that stamped or uh, actually probably hand carved concrete. So it looks like lava rock and it's uh, stained. Looks great as you come into this house. This is, I mean, truly one of a kind. So you gotta have, you've got a complete circle driveway here, really well landscaped on the Malka side and then the house is just it, everything here is super substantial like the size of things it's just huge so cover some things real quick we have a standing seam metal roof fully guttered as you would expect I mentioned you have the circle drive over here this nice landscaping in between we have an incredibly large garage so you got two car garage normal size and then oversized two car garage look how high and wide that is how much deeper it is than the other one on this side nice lighting around we see that we have our lanai here in the front this house has over 13,000 square feet under roof in total over 5,000 interior square footage over 3,000 cover lanai plus the garage and the other walkways and look at this treatment here in the ceiling unbelievably ornate and uh just over the top our pillars over here are faced with these looks like 18 by four foot pieces of looks like nice rough cut travertine and then stucco exterior over here really really nice and then of course your entryway uh, is gorgeous you see we got our design in here travertine down below 18 by 36 on those travertine large pieces and then inside a lot of custom work on here they're doing some professional photography i'm going to work through because i know you're going to want to see the view and we'll get backlit and show everything and get in some more detail okay guys super embarrassing there's so much house that i actually missed part of it so here at the front door as soon as you come in over to the left we have a little office in here so if you want to pull this aside have some office space or store stuff in here i don't know there's you can do whatever you like but you have an office right there and then on the other side of this uh front entryway we have a half bath a powder room um like i mean look at the artwork in the uh powder room i like the tiffany style sconces that we have in here really good looking um yeah so an office and a bathroom that i forgot until we were leaving and lisa <laughs> said you know you didn't even record that and i was like okay we'll go back in um so yeah we'll pick it right back up um so here's our ocean view absolutely sweeping unobstructable view and spectacular beautiful day here in kona we've got this huge pool that has a ton of really unique features we're going to talk about that in detail 
you haven't seen a pool like that one, I can tell you that. And then check out this covered, lanai. I said there's over 3,000 feet in covered lanai. Look at this, I mean, pretty good. And then even more over here with this workout area, a putting green. We're gonna get to all the outside stuff in a moment, but let's come back in here to the great room. Now that we're backlit, we can show this really well. Rich wood flooring down below. Everything comes with the home. Everything comes with the home. The artwork, with the exception of some doll figurines over there at the entryway, everything else comes with the home, which is spectacular. You see we have a super large living area here with an impressive built-in. This is, everything's really big. The crown molding. It's a four-piece, 14-inch crown molding. We have 12-foot ceilings throughout the home with 16-foot ceilings here in the center. Obviously, recessed lights. We're fully air-conditioned. Uh, look at the detail up here in the joints. Incredible. Like I said, all the artwork comes with all of this storage space down here. We've got our bar set up over here with our built-in wine coolers. They brought in uh, a custom cabinet maker on this. This is a Sub-Zero. Incredible with your prep sink right here for your bar. We're gonna go through some of this somewhat quickly just cause you know, we could be here for an hour easily. Here into the kitchen, look at all the work that we've done in here. Huge cabinets. You can see we got displays up top which are lighted. Check out that decorative band going around. And then we have our granite quartz down below. Gorgeous. So not one, but two farm sinks. This is something that I found to be a big plus, two full-size sinks, that's awesome. So we got two sinks right here. We have a bar sink over there and a prep sink here. <laughs> Check out the size of this island. Like, um, all right, a little detail to point out. There's no seam on this island. A lot of times when you get an island that big, you'll have a seam across the middle. This is one piece of stone. That's bigger than pieces of stone I've normally seen. Of course, we're gonna have a wolf six burner with a griddle. We've got a vent hood that's completely ornately decorated and covered up. I think, why don't you open that one up? So we have a, no, that's a freezer, oh, wow. Sub-Zero freezer. <laughs> and then you have your Sub-Zero fridge oh my gosh. over on this side. Oh. Nicely paneled, plenty of, obviously gonna have tons of storage space down below. I think we have dual dishwashers here as well. Dishwasher here. Do you have another dishwasher? Yep, dual dishwashers. <laughs> Um, why get one when you get two at twice the price? Miele coffee espresso maker. Nice. And uh, all your coffee cups are with it. Obviously, top of the line cabinetry, soft closed dovetail joints. Um, up above here, so let's talk a little bit about what we have going on. You have, I can't remember the brand of these glass doors. It's a 32 foot opening. You also have the screens. You also have a sunshade on the inside that you can operate as well. Um, that's also for, uh, I'm gonna spin around real quick, sorry. That's also for this one with the sunshade. And then a pantry, of course, great size on that. So one more pan around, absolutely amazing, great room uh, bringing you outside. Let's go, you wanna check out this side of the house? This is the guest wing side of the house. Super impressive. I like how you can just kinda of close this off. They got a door right here. So if you wanna just close it off and stay on the other side, not mess with the stuff, you can. Super wide hallways, we have an entrance over here. Gorgeous glass door, frosted glass. Security system, though you have two gates. You got the gate at the driveway and the gate in the neighborhood, so I think you're pretty safe. We got a, this is a smooth travertine, a little bit different than we had out front. And again, 12 foot ceilings, pretty impressive. We have a king size bed here with so much room on either side, um, plenty of space. Traditional slider going out here to the pool and the view, which I do promise we'll get to. Ensuite bathroom, 
Oh, I love this van. Look how, I mean, 12 foot ceilings. I mean, it just goes and goes and goes. I like to point out the, the beautiful artwork that they have going from floor to ceiling right there. That band, that oh iridescent tile is gorgeous. That's so beautiful. Yeah, I'm liking it. And, and one thing I like about this, you guys hear me talk about closets. So they have their own little, it's, it's a small, it's a, it, but mind you, this is a guest room. This is a, a walk-in closet for the guest room. Very nice. Good job on that one. So that's one guest room. Tons of storage over here on the sides. And then another guest room. This looks pretty much like a mirror of the last one, I would say. But I would like to point out these. this also has, it's, it's a private bathroom. This is not a Jack and Jill. So Good each, point. each um, bedroom has its own walk-in closet and its own private bathroom. And look at that, another band going all the way up. They keep that style throughout. That's beautiful. Um, you know, I, it's really important. I have seen some homes here and there uh, over, or, you know, around this price point. You absolutely, like, must have, if you're going to be in this price point, on suite bathrooms. Um, there's no way to not do that. It just, it just doesn't work. Okay. This whole guest wing, I don't even know how to... I mean, this is a guest wing. There's Rhett. How you doing, man? We have... Let's come all the way down. Huh. This isn't the primary primary. This is like the second primary. So, <laughs> lots of room in here. I mean, you could put another one of these beds over on that wall if there wasn't a door there and still have space in between. That's how big this room is. Got TV, central air. We're right outside here, access to our lanai. So, let's continue on this guest suite. So, you can close it here, but then you got... Look at this walk-in closet for the guest suite. This is not the primary. Yeah, they're, they're calling it a second primary, but it's a guest. <laughs> like, you're going to primary the other one. So, like, this is a, like you said, it's a guest closet. There's so much storage. You can put stuff on top of... This is amazing. This is just beautiful. And then, here's your, uh, your guest bathroom. So, his and hers on either side. Nice, good size mirrors. I like the tile that we have going around here, very attractive. And then our bathroom, our shower, again with these dual bands on this one, going all the way up. Nice shower, bench, tub, <laughs> and privacy door here for the bathroom. Mike's missing something. Look at oh. this gorgeous I am missing chandelier. That. In your I'm glad we have you around because I'm looking at this uh, camera and Beautiful. I need to be looking around. So, pretty good bathroom for your guests. Oh, and never mind that they have their own living room. In their they have their own suite here. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, so pretty cool there. Then let's pop outside for a second. Pardon me as I spin around here, guys. I do think when you have a garage this big, you're going to have to take a look at it. So let's see, we got this nice breezeway covered in between. No one's getting wet. And we come in here, wow. So of course we have 12 foot ceilings in here as well. Uh, an extra refrigerator. We see we have our whole house vacuum system. Standard two car, this is extra deep. Look at how much storage you have, holy smokes. More storage over here. Um, absolutely incredible. And, oh, so, you know, there's, there's a couple acres, and if you wanted to plant some coffee or something like that, you might want to have a, uh, a mule like this. And so you drive it in, and they have a garage door on the other side, so you can drive it out and access the property uh, with, the square, with the land area we have down below. I'll show that to you in a moment. Um, plenty of storage up above. I mean, yeah, this is, this is absolutely substantial. Uh, soft water, water softener uh, system in there. So yeah, they've done all of the things. So I guess next we got the primary suite and we got the 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 view and the pool. What do you want to see next? Well, there is a unique feature, and I know you slightly touched on it, but it's on, oh, let me show you. All right, we're gonna see where Lisa takes us now. 
out on the lanai. So I believe Mike said this, this lanai is 3,000 square feet. It's a big, big lanai. But what is special about this, these are shades or... or Oh, motorized screens, yeah. The motorized screens that blocks in this whole section, so if it's have a lot of mosquitoes one night, you can actually close this in. And I don't know if people can truly appreciate that here. That's a, that's a really nice feature because you have outdoor living, but if you know what, if you have bugs, they, they, they've thought of everything. I just thought that was really kind of a special touch. And of course, to be expected with the house at this level, it's just amazing, it's beautiful. All right, so let's, talk, let's start over here with this end of the of the back pool lanai area and just work our way in. Wait, I get to show the fun part. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Come on down this way. Okay, this is a beautiful pool. All right, we all agree this I is gorgeous. Think, I think uh, Jonathan said it was 56 feet long and got the hot tub section up there, which is big, we'll get to that. Okay, so this is, this is gorgeous and this is enough. This is absolutely amazing, but there's more, come on. I really wish I had my swimsuit today because this is a slide and it's not working right now, but Mike, let's take them down here to show them where the slide goes. So polished lava rock slide and then you can take steps down. And there's another pool and this is 12 feet deep. So you can, they, they actually, some people dive off the top of here, but you can also take your slide down. I would love to come to a pool party here. <laughs> this looks like a blast. Highlight of the day for me. <laughs> They've also got a sun deck. They're still working on access because it's going to be around the other side. We'll cover that in a minute. So additional like decking out there. Someone just wants to sort of lay out. We mentioned the 56 foot pool. So we got some really good length on here. We got travertine coping and then we're seeing the turf again here. So super low maintenance. You could actually just have some landscapers. They're just trimming up things around. If you don't want to do a whole lot of other stuff, um, you could actually keep it pretty easy. The substantial the, the size of these columns. I mean, these are huge. Um, I a little thing to point out. I don't know if you noticed these little, these are sprinklers. So if you wanted to have potted plants, they've also thought of that. So you can also have water to your potted plants. I did not know that. They thought of everything. Okay. So then we got our hot tub over here with our overflow, with our large sun deck. Um, got that right this time. Uh, we got, I mean, the hot tub, like, you could get, what, 12, 14 people in there? Then we have more decking out here for laying out. We got some nice, you know, just because they have turf, it doesn't have to be all turf. They still add these accents here, which is really nice. We got more lanai on this side. They've set up a fitness center. Again, everything is included, guys. Um, incredible. Putting green over here. Let's step out a little bit. Great place to set up some table and chairs. They are still working on some access that they are going to create to go over, I should go to this other spot, to that sun deck we talked about. So that's still coming. And if you buy the home, that'll get done before you, you own the home. But then you have this land here too. Now you can leave it the way it is, where the rock wall is and the fence, or you could plant coffee like those guys did. And uh, it's up to you. Do whatever you want. You could leave it pretty low maintenance or you could add some stuff, have your own little private label. Um, I think a few people out there would really love to do that and be able to give that to their friends, uh, have someone come take care of it. It's your property, do what you like. Ping pong table, pretty good fitness area. Outdoor kitchen with a nice, let's get a look at this countertop. Really gorgeous, nice high bar height setup. We got a Blackstone style grill, a traditional grill, a sink, a little fridge. This is tiled down below. Really nice job on that. And then we can go into the primary. I think we should probably go through the house there and enter it. Um, yeah, through the living space. And then, so guys, seriously, like, if all this artwork is included, this is bananas. Like this woodwork is gorgeous. The way this thing is decorated is incredible. So we've got our entrance over here into our primary. Now what's really cool before you get into your primary 
is we have this room right here. You can do some different things with this room. So let's say someone's in here and they need a close by nursery. This is really good. Maybe you wanna convert this into an office. You can do that too. It does have its ensuite bathroom. Again, with our huge ceilings and shower there. Oops, bumped into something. And then our closet over on this side. So a lot of flexibility as to what you do with this room. Uh, make it a flex space, make it a nursery, um, whatever you need. So that's really cool. And then around as we spin to the primary. So gorgeous primary, lots of space, beautiful woodwork down below. Huge. This is a pretty substantial king size bed. Um, yeah, slider going out. Window treatments. Light sconces built in, super awesome. And then we come around. Okay, this is my part. Okay. <laughs> Look at this closet, it's so tall. There's great height in here. I love how high this, we have a center um, dresser here. You could- It has gorgeous blue color oh in gosh, this thing. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's also just the size of this. And I'm impressed with the organization. <laughs> this is pretty impressive. This is my goal. This is my dream. But place for luggage up above. Um, yeah, this will do. We're available as, um, what do you call it? House, not house guests. Um, house sitters. House sitters. <laughs> caretakers. We'll take care of it for you. Caretaker services are available. Oh, all right. You know I'm big on this. The washer and dryer in the primary. I can't tell you how much I love this. Um, and I know it's such a little thing, but I don't want to lug clothes from here to the other end of the house, wash them, and then lug them all the way back. It's just right here. Great. We got our prep sink. We got additional storage. 46 inch upper cabinets. This is everything that you need. Um, and then I'll, I'll tell you, we saw it a little bit just in that little space, but I have never seen this stone. Never, ever, ever. I have no idea what this is. Um, but that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad I didn't see that before we did our remodel because I bet I couldn't afford it. <laughs> and I like it a lot. That is nice. Huge mirror. Um, yeah, what can you say? Everything that you need right there. Lisa looks like she's waiting. Look at this shower. Oh my gosh. What is this? Size of four showers in here? Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Big. I love this this window here, this opening. It makes both sides. It makes it feel very spacious. Mm -hmm. And of course, I love these bands. They go from floor to ceiling. They're gorgeous. And so, just to be clear, there's a shower head over there, and there is the second shower head over here as well. So dual showers, really nice. Oh, I like how oh, the uh, threshold for the shower is the same stone as over there, which is really nice. Privacy door here for the toilet, of course. And then a door leading out to our outdoor, I call it a little sanctuary, but our outdoor shower that we can set up. And then right around, we have access right back to the pool, the backyard, and everything. Let's go, let's, what do you think? I think we've got it all. I think we need to do our three things. We need to do our three favorite things. <laughs> the one thing I would change or add, um, and I really don't know that I gave this view the justice it deserves. So we're looking south beyond the, uh, is it the outrigger now? Yeah, it's not the Sheraton anymore, it's the outrigger. So beyond Cuyahoga Bay to the south, I'm actually, uh, if you know Kona really well, past there is a spot called End of the World, and there's a point before you start getting around towards Hokulia. I can see that point from there all the way across here, unobstructable. We're looking down to Lyman's Bay here, over into town, Kailua Bay, all the way to the airport. Absolutely amazing view. Okay, three favorite things and the one thing to change or add. Lisa, let's go with your, give me, give me one of your three favorite things. Okay, I think about my order, but um, probably I'll start off with this outdoor living space and view. I'm going to put them together. Okay. Kind of allows me to maybe get four. 
I love the the outdoor living space and this view. I could I could be out here all day, every day. It's gorgeous. So that I'll just start with that one, and I'm only getting one right now. That's one right now. And so I'm I'm gonna go with something a little bit silly. Uh, the 12 foot ceilings. I, it's been a while since we've seen a home with really nice high ceilings and high crown molding throughout. Like some people will do it in one room, but then you're back down at nine foot or even 10 foot in the bedrooms. This one was 12 foot throughout, even the bathrooms. I mean, it was just built so substantial. The size of this thing, the lift on all of this is really cool. So that's my first favorite thing. Number two for you? Um, I will say for number two is that primary closet. Um, mm. it's as Mike was saying, the 12 foot ceilings. It's also just completely spacious. I love the really tall uh, dresser counter space they had in there. Everything about it. it that is my dream closet. <laughs> that's, my, that's what I've seen, I think. There's so many awesome, huge things here that I'm, I'm going to actually go uh, subtle with something else again. Um, and it's the four car garage <laughs> with the pull through for the other side. I mean, having toys in a little workshop like I've never had any experience doing woodwork, but I would like to think that I would if I had the space to do it. So that was kind of cool. Um, that's something we don't see. Uh, third favorite thing? Okay, you guys know I'm going to say it. That slide with the I, extra deep pool. I knew oh, you were going to have that. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I wish I had my swimsuit. I would be in there in a heartbeat. Love that. So I'm going to go for my third favorite thing is I'm going to stay outside. Similar to Lisa, it's just this entire outdoor area. The pool, the slide, the second pool. Um, that's right, a second pool. 3,000 square feet of covered lanai back here, guys. That's uh, bigger than every, most people's houses. Um, so just this entire outdoor area. I mean, this house has it all. All right, anything you would change or add? I, I'm sitting here thinking in that minute that you were speaking. I mean, they have thought of everything from the shades in case there's mosquitoes, the... Mm -hmm. irrigation coming up through the the lanai for your I, I no I can't think of a thing so I'm just gonna be happy with what I've chosen and maybe you can find something <laughs> I mean I can see someone wanting to add coffee like but I I would just be fine leaving it I just because it's easier maintenance um, nothing that you have to worry about um, yeah there's nothing I would change the fact that this is also coming turnkey furnished um, with the exception of a couple small pieces of artwork at the very beginning is is significant. You would easily spend to do all that they've done in here. Um, I mean, it's another half a million probably. Maybe not that much. I don't know. It depends on the artwork. That can get really expensive, but it's 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 a lot. Okay, I thought of something I'd add. Oh. I'd add more lounge chairs so I could have more. <laughs> that's what I'd add. More chairs. <laughs> more if, lounge chairs. If that's what's stopping you from buying this, <laughs> let me know. It'll be a great closing gift. I'll get you some more lounge chairs. Perfect. No problem. Uh, okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I got more for you in the corner. We'll see you again real soon.